Did you know that the market for spatial audio technology and headphones is projected to grow by over 35% in the next five years? Let's talk about how this technology can transform our listening experience. And later on, I'll share a few tips to help you choose the right pair of headphones to get ready for the future of headphone spatial audio. Hi everyone, I'm Todd and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm talking about headphone spatial audio and whether you create or listen to music or other audio, this tech is changing the way we think about sound. You know, the promise of spatial audio is to give us a more immersive and lifelike sound. And it kind of reminds me of the transition from mono to stereo back in the day. I'm not saying stereo is over, not by a long shot, but if you're into sound, headphone spatial audio is becoming difficult to ignore. So let's start with the limitations of traditional headphone audio. So while stereo sound provides that basic right-left channel, after experiencing surround sound in movies and home theaters for years, some say it lacks the depth and immersion needed for a truly engaging listening experience. Now today, you can imagine watching a movie or playing a video game only hearing sounds from two directions? Probably not. This can break the illusion, diminish the overall enjoyment. So why are we going down this road? Well, Many artists, producers in particular, feel traditional stereo audio can feel flat, limited. It kind of fails to replicate the way we naturally hear sounds around us. Spatial audio technology attempts to address these challenges, creating kind of a 3D soundscape, right? So that places you in the center of the action, enhancing the sense of immersion and realism. And if you've ever been to a live concert, especially with a live stage or in the round or something, you know what I'm talking about. So how does spatial audio work? Well, at its core, it uses binaural audio technology, which of course we're familiar with from headphones, and it records sound using two microphones to capture kind of the way our ears hear and perceive sound from different directions. Now this tech relies on head-related transfer functions, or HRTFs, to mimic how our ears receive the sound from various angles. By replicating that, binaural audio can create a really immersive and realistic 3D experience. And if you've tried spatial audio, you kind of already know that. Now, this is not a highly technical video, but in addition to binaural audio, advanced algorithms play an important role in simulating 3D environments. So like the algorithms use data about the position and movement of sound sources and they dynamically adjust the audio. So think about listening to music where you can hear the instruments around you or playing a game when you can hear footsteps behind you. These algorithms ensure that sounds move more naturally as you turn your head and move around kind of creates a more seamless experience if you think about it, right? Now, this is a differentiator in where competition exists. So, you know, we've got Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Apple Spatial, Sony 360 Reality, MPEG-H, and it just goes on and on. You get the idea. Algorithms are not all the same. Everybody could record theoretically the same microphones in the same positions, but how everything is interpreted, how our movement and relative to that, the sound is interpreted, makes a big difference here. Now let's talk about some of the latest advancements in headphone spatial audio tech. So with the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning, these systems are becoming more personalized and accurate. For example, like some high-end headphones now adapt to your unique HRTFs, right? So providing a more customized audio experience and it matches how you or I naturally hear sounds. So it's really individualized. One example of spatial audio is some premium headphones from some of the top brands like Sony, XM5s, the Audis Maxwell, Apple AirPods. You know, these headphones, they adjust the audio based on your head movements and customize profiles that enhance your listening experience, right? So solutions such as the Waves NX, APL's Virtuoso, standalone head trackers open up this tech to many other headphones. And if you're thinking about headphones to experience spatial audio, I've got a few key things for you to consider. Number one is compatibility. Ensure the headphones are compatible with the devices and platforms you use. You know, if it's gaming consoles, smartphones, streaming services, if they support spatial audio, it's helpful to know that your headphones are maybe approved by them. It's not a deal breaker, but it's something to think about. Now, the second thing is audio quality. Look for headphones with high quality drivers and a wide frequency range to not only get that rich kind of detailed sound, but it also helps a lot again with spatial audio because you can cover off the fine nuances that are designed to create the illusion of space. Now, the third thing is head tracking. And you know, you could opt for headphones with head tracking capabilities. to give you a more dynamic experience, maybe a little more immersive, but I encourage you to try it out first because it's proven to be uncomfortable for some, all right? So if the sensation bothers you, you may not want to go for that. Yes, you can turn it off and always go to it in the future, but if it's really something you're not going to use, spending money there is probably not something you want to do. 
Now comfort just about goes without saying for any headphone purchase, but if it's gonna be something you wear for long periods of time, make sure like they're really adjustable, nice cushioned ear pads, and think about how warm they're gonna get as well. And I also wanna mention if you're going wireless, battery life. Make sure you've got the battery life that you need for the kind of listening sessions you have. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I don't like having my sessions interrupted and having to do some things when I get low battery warnings. And so after these points, what are my thoughts? Well, headphone spatial audio is definitely transforming the way we experience sound, right? It's making it more immersive, more lifelike. Binaural audio tech, advanced algorithms, I mean, these things are geared towards enhancing our listening experiences, right? It's not for everyone. In my opinion, stereo isn't going anywhere just yet, probably not for a long time, hopefully never. <laughs> That's just me, I'm getting a little older. But like anything, sound design will go where listeners want it to, and we all need to be aware of where it's going. Otherwise, we might still be producing albums in mono. Anybody remember that? And so my question is, have you tried spatial audio on headphones? Let the community know below, give them your thoughts. And if you'd like more info on headphones, check out one of the videos on the screen or in the description below. You guys know I appreciate you joining me. Have a great week, everybody, and I will see you next time.